Machu Soames Island in Wellington Harbour is a fascinating place because of its colourful history and now because it's home to some of our more charismatic natives. If this island could talk, it would have some amazing tales to tell us of our past. Some tragic, some bizarre, all of them interesting. Let's find out what it has to say. Is where I love to be Sometimes love. I'm here with Joe, who's the resident ranger of Machu Soames Island. And Machu Soames New Zealand history really began with the early Maori history here here on the island and we can see remnants of that here, can't we Joe, of the, the middens. What is a midden? A midden is basically the equivalent of a rubbish tip for Maori, but instead of having coke cans and plastic bottles in it, they've got shells. We do have some more inside, so let's go and have a look. Okay, thanks. So we've got lots of shells, which would have been the food they were eating. And then on the top shelf here, we've got some bones of some of the animals that they might have been eating as well. And what other examples of Maori history have we got here on the island? We've got a hei tiki that was found on the island by uh, Molly Smith, the quarantine officer's daughter, which is now, for security reasons, kept in Te Papa. I need inspiration, I walk down to the sea. For over 150 years, this island was an animal quarantine, and that was basically to protect New Zealand's stock against foreign diseases. This was basically a Hilton hotel for animals. So prized breeding animals were bought here, kept to make sure they were disease free, and then went off around New Zealand. If you were um, an early immigrant to New Zealand and you arrived in Wellington with people who were ill on board your ship, you'd end up on the island and some of those people died here. The Chinese immigrant Kim Lee was forced to live out on Mokopuna Island and live in a cave away from everybody else. They actually sent his food over to him by flying fox because he was suspected of having leprosy. He only lasted three months and as it turned out he didn't have leprosy at all. It was some other kind of skin complaint. Quite a tragic tale. Joe, this place has quite an important military history too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We're stood on the top of the island here, and this is the site of the Second World War anti-aircraft gun emplacement. And this is the command post, which is where they would calculate how high to put the guns, which are in these four other locations, to get the enemy, which at that time were Japanese coming down to Wellington. So that's a little bit about the history of Machu Soames Island. Joe, what's happening now? We are revegetating and reintroducing species. Volunteers have been working for 25 years on the island to plant natives, and it's all looking great. Machu Soames may have had a pretty sad past at times, but it's taken on a whole new lease of life as a sanctuary for some of our most iconic locals. So its future looks pretty bright. Seasons change, summer, autumn, winter, spring.